Welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. Today is June 9th and here is your astrology for the day and what is happening in the stars. Now before I dive in, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. Also available as a t-shirt but these hoodies are insanely comfortable so grab yours now link is in the description below today we have a sextile which is a positive aspect between mercury and taurus and neptune in pisces mercury is the planet of communication it represents how we learn how we process information and how we express that back to the world with Mercury recently in the sign of Taurus, there has been a focus on being more practical in our approach to communication and focus potentially even on our finances. We all want something more sustainable and we want to go about communicating with others in a more practical and emotionally grounded way. Neptune is in Pisces. Neptune is the planet of dreams, so to say, and it represents intuition. When it's in the sign of Pisces, this is even more so heightened. So this positive sextile between Mercury and Neptune today highlights our intuition and how we communicate that to the world in a more practical way. Now is a great time for us to focus on ourselves and our relationship with our own mentality and with our minds. With Mercury and Taurus, Taurus is all about self-sustainability. And so our communication style during this time is coming from a place of how can I prioritize myself, be pragmatic in order to keep things running smoothly for the sake of my own sustainability, which is a good thing for us. And with Neptune in the dreamy sign of Pisces forming a positive aspect today, we can feel more connected to our minds than ever before today and even connect with our intuition. This transit today really is a beautiful bridge between being grounded in the material reality and connecting to the dream realm. Today, we can find a perfect balance between the two. So make some time to self-reflect today and listen to your intuition. Maybe even channel your intuition in very practical ways such as journaling or putting your dreams into a planner. I love the best self journal for this reason right now. So hit the link in the description below to get your own best self journal. Overall, the stars bring a positive energy today. In the past few days of the week, we had Venus entering Leo, which at first felt so great for us because it helped us uh, be inspired to be more playful and take center stage in our relationships, in our lives. But then we had a very hard and challenging aspect between Venus, the moon, Nep and the north and south nodes, all forming squares. So this made some challenging aspects with Venus and Venus is about to have another challenging aspect tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for that report, which will come out first thing tomorrow morning. But today can feel like a little break in the stars, helping us recenter. And instead of being worried about all the world around us and dealing with chaos that seems to be rising, instead we are called to focus on ourselves and really just connect to our minds because the more we connect to our minds in a balance of uh, intuition and practicality in idealism, but also realism, we can merge and perceive the world with more rationality, more balance and more harmony. Overall, harmony and balance is in the stars today. This is a beautiful transit, beautiful energy. Focus on yourself and let me know what else you're feeling in the stars in the comments below. Do you feel this transit differently? Let me know in those comments below. While you're down there, be sure to check out my readings. I offer 30 minute readings. If you are interested in learning more about how your astrology is affecting you, or if you want more guidance on the current transits of June, hit the link in the description below to book a 30 minute reading with me now. And we can talk all about all the transits that are happening now. Grab the free birth chart workbook if you have not yet grabbed it already and check out the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle if you are someone who loves workbooks and courses and is interested in astrology or self-development. All those links in the description below. That's your astrology report for today, June 9th. Stay tuned for tomorrow's astrology report and be sure to turn on those post notifications so you know exactly when it comes out so you can be the first to know what the stars have for the day. Once again, my name is Isabel. Thank you guys so much for watching. From my heart to yours, namaste.